Hello everyone and welcome back or to my channel. My name is Erica and today I will be doing my project pan for the month of March. I'm afraid to say it, I didn't really wear makeup that much this month. I know I said that in the last month's update too. I think that's reasonable, right? Because last month was a little bit shorter. So I'm going to be starting with the rollouts and I have this rule where if I do not use a makeup product for a whole month, what makes me think that I'm going to reach for it next month? I have three rollouts because I didn't wear them at all this month and I'm just going to start with the first one which is not that big of a surprise. This is the Nisha Perfect Cover BB Cream SPF 42, that doesn't really matter, number 25. So I didn't really reach for this because I don't like wearing this unless I know I'm not seeing anyone because it wears off terribly after like a few hours but for the very few hours that it looks good it's fine so I'm just going to roll this out you will probably see this in like a no buy video in the future because I am planning on using a lot of this this weekend because I am not seeing anyone and then I have my Urban Decay Eternals collaboration this was from two years ago I think I didn't use this. It's a very, very nice, like, blue-red, which is my preferred red. And it's basically new. Like, not brand new, because I've used it a few times. This is the shade Agility. And I just didn't feel like wearing red, because I didn't have any super special occasion to go to. So, I am not wearing this. Or, I have not been wearing this. I'm starting to wonder, like, when can I wear this red? Because I don't know if I have any special occasions coming up. I used to wear red lipstick every day when I was younger because it was the only makeup product that I, like, owned. Maybe I will roll it into another project later on this year. And then the last product, I actually rolled this in last month, and I can't believe I didn't use it. This is the Too Faced Killer Liner in the shade Killer Cashmere. I did use the other one that's in this project pan. But it still has that weird... I'm just gonna say it, it looks like a nipple. It, I, it still has that weird, like, nipple tip, like, sharpening because my lash sharpener broke, and that's why it looks like so questionable. But I didn't use this, so I'm going to use it this weekend. But rules are rules. I didn't use it in the past month. You'll probably see this in a makeup no buy update like the BB cream sometime later this year. Let's move on to the more exciting products starting with my infamous NARS blush in the shade Deep Throat. I repressed it this month and while I was drying I was using my other blush so I actually didn't use this one too many times this month. I only used it three times but it looks significantly different because it is repressed. I only used it three times this month but I used it 21 times in the previous month for a total of 24 uses and this is what it looks like right now. Busted lid and all. It looks like a piece of gum. You can still see the like indents of where I was pressing in with I believe it was the cap. This looks doable by the end of the year for sure. <laughs> Love my optimist. <laughs> Not next month, but to the end of the year because I don't want to get too ahead of myself. I do have another one of these. The next blush is for, also from NARS, but it has a way less obscene name. It is the shade Dolce Vita. I used this 13 times this month for a total of 15 uses. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, it still barely looks used. While my NARS blush was drying and I was repressing it and all that good stuff, I was using this. This is much more pigmented than Deep Throat and it is also much darker than Deep Throat. So when I use this, sometimes I don't have to mix it with my other blush that's in this project. Yes, I'm working on three blushes like a mad woman. Probably be reaching for this a lot less now that I'm working on my NARS blush. I'm definitely going to prioritize that. If I do not reach for this in the next month, I will roll in a different blush in the next month to replace this one because I only really had this in this project pan to use something that was brand new because in my past project pans, 
I always started off with products that had like pan in it or I had already used it and I thought this year I would change it up because I have a tendency to buy backups and then not use that until like my new one is done and then I will reach for the backup and then buy another backup but with blush you should just use whatever color like my backups <laughs> are different colors so I just really need to go through my collection and give every product that I own some loving and, and attention. And the third blush I own is some Hourglass. It is their Ambient Lighting Edit Sculpture in this palette. The shade is Mood Exposure, which I believe is a permanent shade. I used this 16 times this month for a total of 37 uses. and. I have definitely hit pan. I don't know if there's pan in the last update or it was barely visible, but I just noticed I did hit pan. This is what it looks like now. I don't know if you can see the waffling under, or it's not really a waffle, but like the little dents. Yep, if I turn it this way you can see it. This is so exciting! This pan for like two years did not show much use, and now you can finally see through it. So I almost debated mixing this and Deep Throat together to create like one blush but then I knew that would have lasted me like forever so I decided to keep them split pan so that I can use this blush still separately because I do like to use this to color adjust. So if my blush is too pink, which Deep Throat is a little bit too pink on me sometimes, I use this to kind of tone it down and make it more like neutral colored and it also adds a nice sheen. I am wearing both today. I'm wearing most of my products today. I feel like I say this in every video but I really love this palette and I would repurchase it in a heartbeat but I'm on a no buy so. I also have way too many blushes, too many bronzers, too many highlighters for me to justify just getting this right away so the day that I finish this blush will be a day of celebration. And then I will recycle this. I thought about keeping it for the packaging and like, like as a trophy, you know? It makes no sense to me now because I'm trying to like decrease the amount of stuff that I have. I think I've reached that point in my life where I'm like, yeah, my 20s was, oh god, I sound like I'm 80, but like my 20s was, it was fun, like, you know, buying things and accumulating things, but now when, I, like, since I'm older, I'm still in my 20s, which is why this is so funny to me because I sound like a toddler talking about my childhood. So it makes no sense to keep something that is pretty much useless other than like nice to stare at. Hopefully after I recycle it, it will be made into a nice new product. Continuing with Hourglass, this was brand new when I put this in this project pan. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Infinity Powder and I wanted to just hit pan on this, which I highly doubt will happen. I can definitely see use on it. It's not domed anymore. It's starting to flatten, but pan seems like a pretty lofty goal. I used this 17 times this month for a total of 38 uses, and this is what this looks like now. Yeah, it, you can't really tell. <laughs> But it is definitely more flat, so if I hold it like this, maybe you can see. Maybe not. I put this in my T-zone and then under my eyes, which would probably explain why I'm shining so much on camera now. But that's how I like to wear it. <laughs> I feel like it's more flattering on camera than it is in person. I'm not sure if I would repurchase this in the future because... For now, I don't see much use for it. Like, my skincare can make me glowy if I really wanted to. So, I'm just going to try and use this up while I have it. And then moving on to my next Hourglass product, I have the Ambient Strobe Lighting Powder in the shade Euphoric Strobe Light. This is a highlighter. I use it also 17 times for a total of 38 uses this whole project. This shade is a bit light on me, so I have to mix it with other highlighters and another project pan in order for it to not look white on me. But this is what it looks like now. I only use it on the tops of my cheeks. I feel like progress on this will be very slow. <laughs> I am trying to hit pan on this, but that may or may not happen this year. 
I feel like if I just used this, I could do it, but I don't know. <laughs> if, I'm not like super like pressed on hitting pan on this. Like if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, I got to use it for a year and it was brand new when I rolled it in. So I'm happy that I was able to use a product that I would have otherwise not really thought about. Moving on, I have my Too Faced Killer Liner in the shade Killer Camo. I used this twice this month, just like last month, so I've used it four times. And I don't know if you guys can see much progress on it. I do have a sheet, but like, I didn't sharpen it, so I think it's going to be about the same as last month. I'm hoping to use it more this weekend. This as a wing liner is terrible, but under my eyes, like if I'm wearing a green eyeshadow, it helps make it pop more so that's I wore it like that once and then another time as a winged liner because I was like maybe it'll work it did not work moving on to lip glosses I have two so starting with the first one from Bare Minerals it is in the shade Enlightenment I used this 21 times this month for a total of 46 uses and you can actually see the progress on the back like okay no stop focusing on me I don't know, can you see? Please. Okay, well, it's not showing, but it's right here. So this is how much I have left. I'm thinking of removing the stopper to get like every last bit of this product out because I do really like it. But at the same time, I have so many other lip glosses. So it's kind of like, how many more uses would I get out of this if I removed the stopper? It would be more satisfying too. Let me see if the stopper looks easy to remove. I think it will depend on how easy the stopper is to remove. I usually put this on first thing, like, not first thing. I usually put this on when I'm doing my makeup in the mornings and then I don't really reapply it unless I'm at home. So when I do my makeup for work, I usually put this on and then I swap to my other lip gloss and wear that throughout the day. But this is usually the first application because it is right here at my desk and Tis the season to use darker colored lips or lip products and once it changes to like spring, summer, especially since this month it's going to change into spring, I feel like I will get a lot less use out of this. So I'm trying to finish it as soon as possible. I might start bringing this with me to work because if I do that, I would get double the use or triple the use out of this. My next lip gloss is from Tower 28. It is in the shade Cashew. Okay, I'm pretty sure my counting on this is wrong, but this is the progress on it. I'm gonna have to fix that later. This is how much I have left on it. Yeah, I think I used this like closer to five times this month. I, to be honest, forgot about it on some occasions. I'm just glad I didn't leave it at work because this is my work lip gloss. I may slow down my use on this to finish the other lip gloss because now that is my priority because as soon as it hits April, I think I'm just going to stop wearing the other lip gloss. So I want to try and finish it before then. I think I could if I really, really worked on it. The last product that I actually wrote in in the last update is from my Perfect Diary Piggy palette. It's a little pig. I wanted to work on an eyeshadow just to like finish it and also I wanted like not, well, I wanted an easier product to work on so I picked a neutral eyeshadow to hit pan on and I used this 17 times this month for a total of 17 uses because I just put it in and I don't know if that is pan or a speck or something but I see something. This is the color I was working on. You probably can't even see it. But I think I'm very close to hitting pan. So next month's update should hopefully be quite exciting. Especially with like all the blushes and this eyeshadow. Time for the roll-ins. I usually like to maintain at least 10 products in my project pan. And then add at least 2 products every time. I have... Two new products that I'm going to be rolling in. To be honest, it was a bit of a struggle trying to pick products to roll in because I just don't know what to work on anymore. I have, I don't, <clears throat> I want to roll in products without being overwhelmed because I am doing three project pants. So for me, eyeshadows are off limit. I think blushes are off limit, highlighters are off limit. 
but I am going to be rolling in a bronzer. I am working on another bronzer and another project pan, but I think this one should be like in this project for about two months or something. I am going to be rolling in my Too Faced Hot Cocoa Bronzer. This was limited edition from like two, three years ago. I think three, no two, sorry. And my goal is to hit pan on this. I am working on a bronzer in another project pan, but this one should be relatively easy to hit pan on. Famous last words, I just want to hit pan on it and then hopefully we'll be good. I did work on this last year, so this is what it looks like. The face is already gone from the center, as you can see. You can still see the indent, but it used to be gold. And there is a spot, like at the top near the cocoa, like the whipped cream, where it is thinner or like has more of a dip. So I will probably be focusing on this part. And I do want to get use out of this before it doesn't work on me anymore because I do tan very quickly and this is a very light bronzer on me except in the winter. In the winter it does show. So I'll probably shift my focus from those bronzers to this one or I will probably mix all three together if this is too light. And then my last product that I'm rolling in is actually a nail polish. I almost said eyeshadow. Ugh. Imagine this much liquid yellow eyeshadow. I think I would cry. <laughs> This is from Habit. It is the shade 42 Cavalier and I bought this I think a year or two ago during my low buy and I counted it as a makeup product but now I don't count eyeshadow or I do count eyeshadows as makeup products but I don't count nail polishes as makeup. I love wearing mustard yellows it's not my favorite color. My favorite color is green, surprisingly. I'm terrible at applying nail polish. You can see I'm wearing some today, but it is so sheer and natural that it is forgiving. This, however, is not that forgiving on my fingernails. So I plan to just paint my toenails with this and it will take me forever because as we all know, nail polish on your toes lasts for like 20 years. So. I just want to get use out of this because I bought it and to be honest I kind of forgot about it and I do really like this color so I will get use out of this one way or another you just probably won't see it on my nails because I have another nail polish in another project pan and I'd rather use that one on these nails those are my two roll-ins for this month I'm hoping that next month I will see pretty good progress especially with my blushes who knows, maybe I'll finish a blush that is like hoping for a lot, but I really, really want to finish a full size blush. I have finished minis before, but never full size, so it will be very exciting to see it. But anyways, that's everything for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the month. Bye!